It is cold. Big baby. Sounding good. Okay guys, today making a video about bad things why I hate this damn car. Now keep in mind, I love this car very much. My very first car, but goddamn does it have this goddamn issues. Okay, keys, check. I got my keys and the goddamn ignition this time. All right. I start this list off, but just gonna go off of you know me having this car for a year or going off of what I've noticed about the car, you know things that I personally personally do not like about my year Mustang or my Mustang is in specific is specific. But well, this is the number one thing I hate the most: the goddamn gas mileage. So I have a V6, you know the the cheapest the cheaper trim for this year Mustang and I noticed that my gas mileage goes down so much more than I would thought it would go down and I have a friend who has a GT it's a white GT it's awesome freaking amazing and I think my gas mileage or gas miles per gallon is a little bit worse than his and I'm not sure if it's just my Mustang in specific specific I keep saying that wrong that word wrong but I don't know if it's my, my fuel injectors being clogged my um fuel pump or whatever it could be that is killing my gas mileage but I filled this car up let's say I think either Monday or Tuesday this week and today is Friday and I'm already need to go to the I'm about to go to the gas station right now to be exact but I already need to go to the gas station and this is freaking ridiculous like <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love this car, but geez, spending $30 every few days, it's not good for my bank account. <laughs> I spend more money putting gas in this car than I do on actually modif modifying this car, and which is ridiculous. Why am I always here? Oh my god, I hate it so much, it's so annoying. Okay. Now, back to your regular scheduled programming. <laughs> okay, the next part I hate about this car, and this is my car specifically, I know they have different trims, you know, automatic, manual. This car is not a freaking manual. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is this is my first car, I never uh, had a manual car before, but before this I, I have a motorcycle. That was my first vehicle. That's all, obviously a manual, so I'm just like, you know, used to having a manual uh, vehicle. But having an automatic is not a bad thing, gas mileage wise, but it's not as fun to drive. You're not as in tune with your car if you have an automatic. Now, granted, having an automatic, you break less stuff than you would having a manual, but something about having a manual and switching gears yourself is more fun than an automatic. Now, granted, having an automatic is still pretty fun, but it's just, you know, one of those little things that I wish was a manual. <clears throat> for this car, there's really not much else to say about this, about that except for I wish it was a manual. Next thing that I absolutely hate about this car is how often things break in this car. Now you could make the jokes that you know fix or repair daily Fords that you know that's how they are, but <clears throat> I had this car for a year now, a year and a few days now because I got it for Christmas last year, and over the summer last or yeah last summer. This, my car spent about a month to two months total in the shop getting um, some things done to it like rebuild transmission, uh, new gear, gear selector, like this one is uh, more tactile than the old one was. The old one felt like it was about to fall apart and you had to put it in like three, then you had to put it back in the drive. That's how bad the transmission was on it. But this car uh, initially went to the shop because um, I thought I had something wrong with my uh, radiator but it really was just a uh, cap from a radiator. And so we, you know, took the car to them, you know, a certain company. And they found out that I had a whole list of problems wrong with my car that I didn't even know about. Now, I, I completely forgot what all they did to it. I know they got a uh, new radiator, new transmission, new gear select, gear selector, um, new coil pack, uh, new tune, clean my butterfly from my uh, throttle body. Like the brakes, the rotors, the uh, oil, stuff like that. But other 
still pay, you know, still spending a lot more money on repairs than you should with a normal car. I know this car is, uh, it's 2005, so it's about 12 years old now. And it should, you know, be getting its, uh, you know, do for those type of repairs. But it still is crazy how often you have to repair this uh, type of vehicle. Okay, for the fourth thing that I hate about my Mustang, and I think it's from like 05 to 09, is the dash display. And it's not the dash display itself, or it's really the the chrome or silver outlining that's above it, which, which makes it really hard to uh, focus on when it's around sunset, around three or four in my area where I live. When the sun is down, you gotta pull the visor straight down like this, and it's hard to see how fast you're going. And part of that has to do with the uh, silver outlining trim for it. V6 parts for this car because you know when you've got to search for uh, parts for my, my vehicle you have to type in V6 the V6 trim and the uh, V8 There are two different things when it comes to like um Obviously, they're two different things, but they're two different, th two different things when it comes to uh, parts on you know American muscle CJ pony yeah. parts So usually when I'm looking for parts, they're either really dang expensive or they just Non-existent honestly because I've been looking for some uh, good quality long tube headers for this car for about a few months now and it's hard to find any of them and I it's really hard to find freaking parts for this car that are a uh, good quality and for a good price but I, I don't know why it's like that honestly like you would think you know by it being like a older model car you know parts will be a little bit cheaper and easier to find since the car has been out for a while and like another thing I've been looking for is like um I've been looking for uh, superchargers and turbochargers for this car and they're non-existent like really for this car because <clears throat> i would type in like a specific note uh 05 09 mustang v6 supercharger um turbocharger not saying that i want to buy it or anything i just want to you know, looking at options for the future and i cannot find one single website that has a good supercharger now turbochargers like there's just one website that has uh, a few and they're not really up to my standards i prefer to supercharge my car than turbocharger i'm still a high school student so i'm not really trying to break the bank uh buying car parts yet you know once you know time goes on then i'll just throw money at car parts <laughs> but yeah that that's really how it is it's hard to find car parts for me if you guys know any places where i can get you know good car parts for my car boy, just put it down in the comment section below let me know because i've been having a hard time the only place i really know where to go is americanmuscle.com or cj pony parts and that's where i got all, all that's where i got all my uh, and that's where i got all my uh parts from so far which is americanmuscle.com so yeah let me know if you guys know any other websites where i can find great affordable freaking parts for my goddamn car but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video guys thank you guys for sticking around for another great video thank you guys for 50 subs i'm gonna say 50k i didn't hit 50k that's my other channel <laughs> but thank you guys for 50 subs this channel is growing really fast. I haven't even shouted out my uh, main channel yet, which is Rebel Gaming. Link it down below if you guys want to go subscribe to that. It's my gaming channel. Um, yep, I'll 
be bringing guys more car videos in the new year. Let's get this uh, channel to 100 subs by the end of this uh, month. Or end of January, I should say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.